how I almost became a prophet in 2017. The story of fake prophets and how they are groomed to be. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you are new on this channel, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so that you won't miss out on all of the videos that we bring to you because we do videos each and every day. So today we are looking at the story of how I almost became a prophet in 2017. I met Passion Java. Uh, he was coming from Emperor's Palace. I was driving Uber, as you know. That's how I started my channel. I started my channel in the car. And he was driving with uh, one of, uh, with three of his sons. And then uh, I happened to have a, a left Ezekiel TV the previous year for for church of Zyoja and when I was there I you know I just said let this is my opportunity this guy has got a TV station I knew that he had KTV then uh, which was Kingdom TV then I told him that I am actually a video editor I do video editing I do camera work and all of that and then you know that's how we hit the road and then I started you know to work with one of his sons and some of the things that I was He's very charismatic. I will not mention his name. But what I man managed to pick up from there was that there is a way to be taught how to prophesy. One of the things that I was taught was that, that because I, I had the privilege of being on one of the prophetic schools because I, I would have to film that because he wanted for his record. So during the process, I learned one thing that you have to be cautious to prophesy. And most of the things that he was teaching me was, uh, one, you, if you want to prophesy, you have to start to, to get into a newspaper, open a newspaper, and you should be able to start to prophesy, to say, on the second page, there is this story. On the third page, there is this story. He said that's how he was taught to prophesy. And then he moved into another realm of saying that uh, your color, represent something your uh, the way how somebody is, is standing represents something in the prophetic and then he said that the, the prophetic uh, anointing can be imparted on you and a lot of stuff he was he was teaching me but in all that the desire that was in me was i want to prophesy and at one point i actually uh, almost prophesied to a to a lady that I'd picked up in Pretoria. And I just, uh, at some point, I just asked whose name uh, starts with this. And I then asked who is born in the month month of S. And I, I, I was doing that. And to my surprise, I wore these two, two ladies. And um, to some way, some, some extent, I just, felt that maybe I am starting to prophesy. And what I didn't know by then in 2017 was that what is it that I desired? Because the Bible says, yes, you must desire to prophesy. But the prophecy that we must desire to have is not the prophecy of prophesying about how someone uh, has the, uh, their, the past of someone. Because that, as I start to learn the scripture, I realize the Bible says the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. So when we testify about Jesus, this is the spirit of prophecy. When you testify about the goodness of Jesus, that is prophecy. That there is no other thing that you can tell someone that is new under the sun except the good news of Jesus Christ. That is the spirit of prophecy. That is the real prophecy. Yes, I can I can forth foretell the upcoming events. I can tell about somebody's life, but it will not help them. That's what the Bible says in the book of First um, uh, Corinthians chapter thirteen. That even if I can prophesy, even if I can speak with tongues, even if I can give my goods to be uh, to to the poor, even if I can give my body to be bent, when I don't have love. The love that the Bible was talking about there, it is the love of Jesus Christ. If you do not have the word of Jesus Christ, which leads someone to eternal life, then you don't have 
it is it is going to be prof it is unprofitable to you if you don't have jesus you can give that's why you find that people that do not know jesus they can actually give you can you actually see that people that do not know jesus they can speak in tongues you can actually see that people that do not know jesus they actually uh they can tell you about what is going to happen in the future they can tell you about uh about a lot of things but if they don't have the jesus inside of them they don't have the true word of prophecy which leads to eternal life then it profits them nothing even if they get bent for or they say we are dying for the truth but if that truth is not jesus christ then it profits them nothing that's how i managed to know that um the prophecy that i was a yearning for it was not the prophecy of the love of jesus and that's why it what stopped me in 2018 2019 uh eventually when i i got to to have an encounter with the true gospel that was sent to me uh by jesus christ so this is what i wanted to to share with you that what the prophets are doing is that and what i learned from my ordeal there was number one you have to know uh even if you if you can have a name if you can know the name if you can use the signs which i believe to me those signs and they are not biblical you don't find them in the bible and you also check the way how the prophecy was also done it is done in such a way that is to dramatize the prophecy and when they dramatize the prophets it's in order to make sure that they raise the emotions of the people by raising the emotions of the people the people when they are their emotions are raised like that even when you say that give money now they easily give if you say if somebody comes to them and say this prophet is fake he is not coming from god they cannot believe that because they are telling you that this person has just prophesied about my life is just prophesied about this how can you tell me that he is not real he is not from god because of the dramatization that they do and in that dramatization they are raising your emotions and when they raise your emotions you easily fall because you are already when you go to church you are filled uh you go to church filled with the last if i may put it that way you are filled with the last in the sense that you are filled with a desire to see what god can do for you you want to to you are going there to say i want god to either give me money give me a marriage give me a breakthrough in at my workplace uh give me promotion and all of these things that we desire um, in the flesh but when you then go there and somebody promises you that and somebody prophesies to you about what you have already put in your heart that you desire then you say this is god and in so doing that's how you end up giving the man that you did not plan to give because already you in your mind you are saying that there is nothing i am investing in this kingdom and i'm investing and that's how the prophets take advantage of people because one they are using the gimmicks that uh people of the world use they are using gimmicks of getting information like what um bushiri did in the video uh this so at the end of the day people are falling victim of their own emotions and their desires which is written in the book of james that way is warring among you is it not in your desire why is th that age that is inside you that i want that i want that i want that i want that there is nothing having it there is nothing bad about having a desire or about having a goal but where are you desiring to have a goal from where is that desire are you saying that desire that you have god has to do it at all costs even if he knows that it is dangerous for you or it's not your time or it is not something that is a portion to you from the foundations of the world that you are supposed to do that there are some people who say i want to be in america i want to be in, the, in this place i want to go there and yet it is not what god has ordained them before the foundations of the world for them to be and then they want to force things to be with what what god doesn't want and they end up praying and praying in vain and hoping from one church to the other hoping that that which they they that they've put in their heart to happen 
is going to happen by not the, by them not working it but by them pestering god or by them using different kind of men of god because they believe somebody's got the anointing to make it happen and that is the problem how people fall into these temptations but thank you so much for watching thank you so much uh, i hope to see you on the next video tell me what you think about this in the comment section